Well, is it going to be possible to have real mermaids in the future, actually, or mimic mermaids into a, to a great effect? Yes, the answer is definitely yes. Actually, the scientists have come up with a new invention. You wouldn't believe what it is. It's a scientist in Denmark have created a crystalline materials that can bind and store oxygen in high concentrations. Now, what it's really for is to help people with S respiratory ailments such as asthma. And what it will do is the crystalline oxygen can be released at any time when or where it is needed. But theoretically, this can also lead to um, swimming underwater. <laughs> you can actually have these crystalline elements and breathe from them and use it just like a deep sea diver would use an oxygen tank. So, in effect, we can actually be having real mermaids or real lifelike mermaids and uh, put on quite a show, I guess. That would be pretty wild because it would give people almost like super human abilities. Uh, this can also probably work for the SEAL, the Navy SEAL team for special ops. Could you imagine what this can possibly do? Or as an emergency backup to your oxygen tanks where maybe you would have, I don't know, ex extended period of time without an oxygen tank in case some problem happened deep underwater or whatever and uh, since the standard human body only f can function with 12 percent oxygen and air around us um, you know that's that's good now the other thing is it may even have some medical purposes because as you know certain times well certain people need oxygen for you know therapeutical methods uh, because of problems they have in late age but it may also extend life you know even during if you look back at the biblical accounts i know i don't know why people used to live so long if you could see, if you want to take those accounts as accurate like noah lived to be 920 years old maybe the oxygen content in the air was different actually they did uh experiments where um they put plants in different environments with higher concentrations of oxygen and it grew much much larger so you remember back uh, during a time, or not you do remember, but if you remember in your history books, during a time of the dinosaurs, everything was much bigger. There was large insects, there was large plants. Uh, but the other thing is, it could probably greatly extend life. That's another aspect it is, too, by storing oxygen and possibly using it when you need it. It can also boost mental concentration. So, But, you know, the interesting thing is you can also have a real live mermaid um, you know, probably at Sea Sea World or whatever, or maybe you can even have people dress up like dolphins or and and Shamu the whale or whatever it is, and uh, play out the act and actually be a person inside like a clown costume. Who knows? I mean, you can really extend. Uh, who knows how far this can really go? But uh, what it is actually, like I said, it's a it's a crystalline type of structure that greatly absorbs oxygen and it only releases it when it's needed. So theoretically, you'd be able to swim underwater with this crystalline without scuba tanks and breathe the oxygen when needed. But it's really designed mainly for people that have respiratory problems like asthma, asthma sufferers or people that have to have emergency oxygen with them at times. Um, I don't know what type of other medical conditions there would be. This could also be a pretty handy thing, if, depending on what the cost would be. This could be a pretty handy thing for like mental alertness too, because sometimes I know people are under the gun, under deadlines, and things like that. They, they grab the coffee, or they grab the cigarette, which actually constricts your blood flow. But the thing is, um, having a little extra oxygen actually goes to your brain, and what happens is it gives you a little more mental clarity and quick thinking, and possibly more deductive reasoning in a more efficient manner. To get get the task done and meet the deadline, so this may be one of those things that might be sold over the counter, like bottled oxygen, except in crystalline form. It could be, it could be. I don't know where this is going to go because it's just been discovered recently, and like I said, you know, it's a matter of how it's going to be marketed, how it's going to be packaged, and it probably could have far more uses than what they, the original scientists, have imagined. You know, it's almost like uh, why do people sell, used to sell like Jolt Cola or whatever, or, you know, Energy Blast or whatever kind of products are out there. You know, that could be maybe a product of give me a fix of oxygen and I got to meet the deadlines. I got to cram for this test. I got to meet the deadlines for the bank tomorrow. We got the tax returns I got to be due. 
give me a blast of oxygen, you know. <laughs> we got these financials I need to be go over to the investors right now, whatever it is. So, or we're under the gun doing body work for cars, you know. It could be that. I don't really don't know. But, you know, the customer wants his car tomorrow. <laughs> so give me a blast of oxygen, and then we don't have to carry a big tank. We can have a little bit of crystalline in packets, put it in your mouth, and uh, get a little more oxygen to your brain and a little more go power. But theoretically, you could probably even have real life-like mermaids swimming around in the water, under underwater, with this new invention. Uh, it's, it, it remains to be seen how well it's going to work in its actual practical application but uh, you know it's already said to uh, you know it can really store quite a bit of oxygen in these microscopic grains and uh, it's almost like having a small mini super portable oxygen tank in granules so a few grains contain enough oxygen in one breath and as the material can absorb oxygen from the water around the diver and supply the diver with it, the diver will not need to bring more than a few of these grains. That's the other thing. It pulls the oxygen and stores it from the surrounding water. So you could be just like a fish. How's that? Amazing. Just don't do this around a cat because a cat might be hungry and think you're a mermaid. Chomp, you know what I mean? Unless it's a big cat. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if that would be true or not. But, you know, because I, I can imagine where this is going to really go if this really happens. Can you imagine what the beach is going to be like in the near future if everybody takes a hold of this? There's going to be all kinds of people swimming underwater, right? It's going to be commonplace. You're going to look back at this day and age and say, remember when we could not swim underwater? And we could do it now at ease and any time we want. God. And who knows? You know, if it's if it's that damn good, um, it can also make the possibility of underwater cities a reality. Is that not true? I mean, if it's that damn good, if it can actually synthesize oxygen from the surrounding water, you could have an underwater city that's protected from, you know any kind of problem if it's deep down enough I mean not talking a mile maybe several hundred feet beneath the churning waves or whatever it is and uh, have ample maritime farming underground and the city could be not in water but actually surrounded by a structure but that structure could be fed oxygen from the surrounding water by this crystalline structure that absorbs oxygen from the water it's got a lot of potential now, the problem always is with something that has a lot of potential is the cost. How expensive is it? And uh, that remains to be seen. But once it gets into production, uh, you know what happens. It gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Once the idea gets out there, you know, just like everything out there, the original microwave, the original VCR, the original Polaroid camera, the original digital camera, the original cell phone, you name it, as the idea gets out there, it gets cheaper and cheaper as it becomes more commonplace. And, um, you know, whatever inventors out there in the world look at this technology, they might see it from another angle. And this can actually maybe even solve overcrowding on the earth. Believe it or not, if you really take it all the way around, I mean, if you can actually have underwater um, areas that can take oxygen from the water water and supply oxygen to an underwater city that's encapsulated and people can actually get out of that city go into water that's surrounding them it just made the available land space on this earth multiply by several times it's also made it where there's a constant temperature there's no need for real extreme heating or cooling because the earth the ocean's temperatures are near constant and um, it also leaves a lot more room for other types of farming that could be algae farming with far more nutrition than we even get from our above ground farming so I mean the story itself did not go into all I talked about here but I just all these ideas just came to my head as in a stream as it was presenting this video because I'm thinking this has a hell of a lot more potential than what meets the surface so you know, we may be with friends with Shamu the whale and Flipper pretty soon, and uh, everybody's going to have a dolphin as a dog instead of a dog. How's that?